Hope all you swabbies are still awake. Late Night Mega here, and we're back with 41st place by Autofire. It's Twilight Fortress with an average score of 61.75. It's only Freems that really didn't like this one. Everyone else had a uh, score above the average. So let's see what's going on with this stage, shall we? Mega Man 5 music, shark bombs that are just kind of going crazy up there. Uh, well, when we go the right way, we can't go wrong. There was no point to that. Introduction to gimmicks. Why is the one block off-colored? Is that supposed to mean something? I don't know. Oops. Okay, I, I promise you guys, I can do this. I can do this and do it with the buster. There we go. I don't like the sniper Joe enemies. Yeah, missed. Homing Sniper won't miss. A little bit of health up there. Okay, that's not the that's not the bad Apache Joe that I thought it was. That one's not bad. I can't use. No, I said you weren't bad. Go away. Interesting. It makes me wonder if there's... Ah! If there's something else to be had there. Ooh. Treasure trove. Now a place where we have to do that. And that's how we ended up on the other side of that gate. Nice continuity with the stage. Just had to take a little bit of a detour. At the Twilight Fortress, the shark bombs are back! I thought you weren't going to just get off of me. Okay, fine. Do it the flame mixer way. And we'll just ignore the shark bombs. I'm not sure what the purpose of putting cheap blocks there was. Good, okay. And now we have to deal with this. Goodbye, Sniper Joe. It's a nice challenge. Alright, we're gonna go this way first and get nothing. Well, that's not entirely true. We've got some dig ups, but... And that releases the Joe! Where are you going, homing missiles? There's a secret there. There is a secret there, and I want to know what it is. So we'll do that. 
How far back do we go? Uh, back to outside. I don't think this is too far back. It's just dealing with the... No. I need to use this more. It's such a good Tengu Dash. Alright. Uh, I kinda want more homing sniper, actually. I think the trick here is we're supposed to use the thing somehow. And yeah, we're gonna do it like that. And we get an M tank for our troubles that we don't really need. And we get shark bombs for our troubles. Which we don't really need. Well, I may as well use it. Why am I up here? Why am I up there? Uh, I did not press anything upwards. I knew that was going to happen. Hey, lousy shield attackers. Not you. No, I don't need any more of you. Oh, this one I have to push over from this side and then ride it back. Do not knock me off. Good shark bomb. I had a feeling that would reveal spikes. Interesting puzzle. I, I like it. I am liking some of the puzzles. I'm not liking that shark bomb. Shark bombs. Go away. Spikes in the boss room, or boss checkpoint gate. Gravity Man, gah, where did you come from? I, I mean, this is Wiley's territory. You better scram, but what's the use? Yeah, I'm the boss around here, or I was anyway. No point in fighting me, though. That Toad Man stole the base's energy element. Hey, stop laughing. That slime ball hijacked the security systems when I wasn't looking. Seriously, he doesn't even know how to operate the place. If anything, that makes him more dangerous. And please don't tell anyone about this. I don't think my reputation would ever recover. Interesting to put Gravity Man and Toad Man here. Okay, we're making Toad Man harder. Oh, we are making Toad Man harder. Okay, it is time for you to not be so difficult. That is a ton of contact damage. What are the sheep locks for down there? I was gonna stuff this toad's mouth full of concrete. Whoa! Stuff the shark bomb's mouth full of concrete. Could you not contact? Me? Oh, we're not done yet. That's why it's down there. Oh, but it's just down here to pick up the energy element. 
I thought there was going to be, like, something a little more. Well, I guess you have to avoid the spikes one final time. That, I guess there was that. Alright, Twilight Fortress. Uh, and, and yes, that comment I made earlier was actually a reference. After playing the level, my first thought was, what were the box enemies? Like, the enemies are generally well used and used mostly evenly. It just feels odd in this contest to focus on a bunch of enemies. Overall, I like that the Sheep Man blocks are mostly for platforming and then puzzle solving. The fact that they were used consistently was nice. The move hovers were very nice. Yes, I agree with that. I mostly just wish that the last challenges got harder. I thought it was decent enough. There's such fun gimmicks that I just want a bit more out of them, especially in the context of the whole level. Uh, even just one more hard screen to tie it together. Also, after the checkpoint, after the boss door, the Gunner Joes be with the bullets become too much. I'll, I'd have spaced them out more since that got kind of annoying. I think there was like one or two spots those Gunner Joes were kind of badly placed, but overall, I enjoyed this stage. It would have been cool if that red sheep blocks that hid spikes were introduced earlier. In general, more color-coded challenges would have been inter Yes, color-coding different sheet blocks to reveal different things underneath. Like, blue ones could reveal ice platforms. Red meaning danger, blue meaning safe, things like that. Uh, I saw it heading for that direction with the red ones, but it was a bit disappointing to see that it never went any further. But what is there to see... But what there is to see is certainly good. Fun challenges, and a well-built level in general. Yeah, I kind of agree with PK Ouija here. Not bad. There's a lot of cute setups with the move hovers, and the level makes sure to give you plenty of space to deal with the sniper armors, or to avoid them entirely. There's a couple of cute optional challenges here too. I think perhaps the trick shot with Concrete Shot that lets you skip the Escargoon fight could have had some extra reward since you can't see what you're skipping on a blind playthrough. I guess I totally missed that part. But they're fun either way. Oh, I think that was the part where I, I said it looked like there's something somewhere there, but yeah. Uh, the main problem this level has is that the killer bullets are mostly bad. This is not entirely your fault because you happen to roll an enemy type in your box that's nearly impossible to build around and rarely adds anything to the level. Now, where this level errs, where, where it didn't have to, is in having screens where you have to crawl up a ladder on the left side of the screen, perilously close to where the killer, killer bullets spawn. Yeah, that was... That's one of the bad spots. Uh, I also think that, like many levels in this... Really, you had a problem with the killer bullets spawning too close to a platform and knocking you down. How do you feel about the escape sequence in the Metroid... Metroidvania level. No, really. Uh, like many levels in this contest, it does feel generic in the way that a lot of later Wily stages feel generic, and that there's not a clear sense of place or some theme to the level beyond nebulously mechanical area. The use of sniper armors, which forcibly remind the player of Mega Man 2, don't help in this regard. But this level does do a nice, kind of subtle thing, where the killer bullets only appear in the outdoor areas, uh, which makes those parts of the level feel more distinct. I agree with that. So yeah, a good, if unspectacular, level. It feels like you were given the different pieces, but you didn't really know how to put them all together. What? What level did you play, Frames? The move hover challenges felt just about nearly 
the same nearly every time. Sometimes they block charge shots I'd use to kill a Joe. And while I don't know if that was intentional, it was a unique use. Yeah, the black charge shots. Sometimes you had to figure out where to shoot them from the left or right. Uh, sometimes you had to like travel over the space, like the, the one strip with the blue um, sheet man blocks and, and get it to not activate the block and then shoot it back, shoot the uh, second high one back the other way. I thought that was cool. And I really can't figure out the point of the sheet man blocks for the for most of that level. They really just feel like they were there. Some of them did. Some of them did. I'll give you that. But uh, I thought there were some decent uses for them. For the most part, they didn't add anything to the level. And other times, such as a long stretch of multiple colors at the end, seemed entirely pointless since you could just slide past that room ignoring most of the blocks and the move hover and go on your merry way. And when there wasn't a loose definition, you, okay, so you totally did not catch the uh, M-Tank, the hidden M-Tank room. That's your fault. Not, not the stage designers. And when there wasn't a loose definition of a puzzle, it was just generic enemy placement abound. It wasn't bad, but it definitely needed more to it. Also, no one has ever thought to themselves that they want to fight a boss while killer bullets are flying around, even if it's took. I thought that was a fine and fair addition. Frames, get out of here with this one. I mean, it's not that egregious where I'm going to fire Frames, but... Uh... That was definitely a miss by that judge. Contrary to what my name implies, I prefer to get around on my bicycle. Okay, you do that. I keep having a nightmare where I'm on a pedestal painted gold with strangers staring at me. I've gotta find a new place to sleep. <laughs> and talk to I wanna talk to the spider. Dar Spider. I too am an artist. Do you like my cobweb sculptures? No. I don't normally do this, but because you're a Mega Man, I'll teleport you back to the elevator. No. I want to do the stage 40 is what I want to do. Shigarki. I do not make ball sculptures. I'm offended that you'd make that assumption about me. I make sphere sculptures. Alright. Well, here's 40th place. The top of the tier 7. The champion of tier 7. Which we'll get into next time. You can see the previews of the enemies and the gimmicks. I forget what that one is. It's hard to, isn't that Tangu Wind? Oh gosh, please don't be Tangu Wind. I'm having nightmares from the other Tangu Wind stage. Well, for now, I'll take my leave. <laughs>